This next book is called A Little Spot Stays Home, a story about viruses and safe distancing. It's written and illustrated by Diane Alber. Hi, I'm a little safety spot. I'm here to help you stay safe when a virus starts spreading too fast and gets a lot of people very sick. Viruses are tiny particles that can make you ill. They are so small that you can only see them with a microscope. These particles are also known as germs. These germs love to stick to your hands, doorknobs, cardboard boxes, and toys. That is why we disinfect surfaces like countertops and objects. A virus can move from an object like a doorknob to your hand. Once it's on your hand, it can enter your body when you touch your eyes, nose, or mouth to make you sick. That's why it's so important to wash your hands to clean off germs before you eat, after you go to the bathroom, and after you're done playing. Wash your hands really well for at least 20 seconds. Sing the happy birthday song twice. When a virus enters your body, you can start to have symptoms. Symptoms don't make you feel very good. They can be a fever, a cough, and a sore throat. People can spread a virus more when they have symptoms because germs come out of their nose and mouth when they cough or sneeze. If you become sick, you should stay at home or go to the doctor which can help prevent others from getting ill. If you are having symptoms, wearing a mask is a great way to prevent the virus from spreading. This also shows you are being kind by not, by not wanting to spread germs to others. If you are healthy, Wearing a mask can protect you if you are around someone who is coughing and sneezing. When someone is sick and sneezes, germs can spread from their nose or mouth up to six feet. So for everyone, a safe distance is six feet, the length of your bed. If you don't have a tissue, you should always cough and sneeze into your upper sleeve or inner elbow. Some viruses can be very contagious and cause an outbreak. When this happens, older adults like grandmas and grandpas, as well as people with low or compromised immune systems, can get sick very easily and it can be very harmful. We need to be responsible and help protect them. We can do this by hand washing and limiting contact with others by keeping a safe, distance. During an outbreak, if safe distancing doesn't slow down the virus fast enough, everyone will need to stay home. This means no parties or seeing friends or extended family. Schools may also be closed for a while too. This is called a stay at home order. When everyone stays home, doctors have time to find out more about the virus and prepare for patients. It also helps them find a treatment that can help before the virus hurts a lot of people. When we need to stay at home, can we leave our house at all? Great question. 
You can go for a walk with your obedient family as long as you are at a safe distance from others. People can also leave their homes if it is absolutely necessary, like to get food, go to the doctor, or if their job is considered essential. What are essential workers? Essential workers need to be at work to help keep us safe. They help treat sick people and deliver and stock important items. These people are doctors, nurses, police officers, grocery store workers, and delivery workers, just to name a few. We should be very thankful for these people who have the courage to go to work every day. Staying at home will require a lot of patience and support for each other too. It can also be a great time to spread kindness by thanking all the people who help to keep us safe. There may be times you feel sad that you can't see friends and family, but there are other ways to connect with them. You can video chat or call them on the telephone. Or you can write a letter and send it through the mail. You can even decorate the envelope or include some artwork too. This time can be difficult for a lot of us, but getting a letter in the mail can brighten someone's day. Since school buildings may be closed, you will have to learn as much as you can at home and that can be fun too. You can learn math by measuring ingredients while baking or by sorting clothes, counting shirts, and matching socks too. You can learn a new skill or spend extra time with your immediate family. It can inspire you to be creative or encourage you to get organized and tackle new projects. Hopefully I was able to help you understand more about viruses and why people need to stay at, need to keep a safe distance and stay at home. It's important to keep a positive outlook and remember that viruses don't last forever. If we work together, things will get better. This book is called A Little Spot Stays Home, a story about viruses and safe distancing.